I definitely need this machop, though. Oh, yeah, he needs a stronger machop. Uh, all right, welcome, everybody. Gaming Mike here, along with AC Gamer. We're going to be doing Jolt this week, our weekly game news game cast. And as you can see, we're playing Pokemon Go. So we'll be wandering around, catching them all as we do it. This is Hop. Jolt on the move. Mobile Jolt. Jolt, Jolt go. <laughs> I just got him a chop. What? <laughs> you do it. Oh, 200 fighting type Pokemon I've caught now. Great. So yeah, we're just wandering around, uh, checking out some of the Poke stops, checking out some of the new stuff with the uh, Pokemon Go system. And the new raid system that's going on in the game. They've changed how that all works. Uh, AC Gamer hasn't been playing much, so he hasn't seen it yet. Nope, I, you'll, you'll be able to take me to my first raid, maybe. Yeah, so hopefully we'll see a raid while we do this, but we'll also be talking about game news that we've got. Uh, just what's been going on in the last two weeks, actually, since we did the last episode. So, uh, yeah, Tom's welcome to the chat. Uh, see you in there. We'll be getting to what's new here in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'll tell uh, AC Gamer a little bit about the new gym system. They've introduced the raids a couple weeks ago. So now periodically in gyms, there will be raids that pop up that everybody oh, everybody who's around can join in on them and try to catch the uh, extra strong Pokemon for the raid. And it doesn't matter what team you're on. So yeah, we'll keep our eyes out for that. Uh, they've also turned gyms into Pokestop so you can get your items at a Pokestop now. And uh, oh, the gyms give you badges now too. So it kind of tracks where you've been. Uh, when this, when the new update came out, we were in uh, California. I got one, one gym badge out there nice. that's on my map. But it puts it up on a little map for you, too. In fact, I'll show you guys. Where am I? So if you go into your character screen and then list all your gyms and then click this little map button. There's 32. You can see this one down in California. Nice. That I went to. <laughs> the surfing mosaic. And then all the rest are near where I live, but yeah, scattered all over the place. Cool. So, it keeps it updated, and then it's got a list of all the places you've gone, and it'll show you what you're defending, or by name. Oh, I've got no Pokemon in gyms. we got to put our Pokemon in some gyms, friend. Yeah. And they've changed the way the coin system works, too. So now, the longer your Pokemon is in a gym, the more coins it earns, up to a maximum of 50 per day. But you don't get those coins until the Pokemon comes back to you, until it gets defeated from the gym. It comes back to you and gets the coins that day. So if you, you know, put a bunch of Pokemon out and they don't come back for five days, then you're without coins for those Pokemon for five days. But you'll get lots of coins when they come back. Well, maximum 50. If they all come back on the same day, you still only get 50 coins for all of that. So it's kind of a bummer that way, but it's, uh, you, can, you can rake in the coins pretty well. You can get your 50 a day if you just go around to a few gyms and stick, uh, stick a bunch of Pokemon in them. Gotcha. So that works. Oh, and there's a maximum of six Pokemon per gym now. It used to be up to 10, but you don't have to level up the gyms anymore either. So it's kind of a, it's a pretty decent trade-off. I like the way the system's working now. It seems pretty good. You can heal other Pokemon on your team. Oh yeah, that's right. And then when uh, the Pokemon is, uh, when the gym is your team, you can stop by and give berries to the Pokemon to, to put their CP back up because the CP degrades over time in the gyms and also when they get uh, defeated. Uh, it, it'll take about three rounds for your Pokemon to get knocked out if it's at full health when somebody battles it. But once they're defeated, that's when they come back to you. And isn't there a special new Pokemon that you can get for uh, the anniversary? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Ash Hat, Pikachu, and Pichu, and Raichu. I've got uh, one of each now, actually. Oh, really? You can hatch the Pichus out of two kilometer eggs, and then you can catch the Ash Hat Pikachus around. Yeah. And, and then, Raichu wears a hat? Yeah, and they all wear the hat. Yeah, if you evolve one into Raichu, it wears the hat. Cool. So, pretty sweet. Uh, they've Yeah, they've really added a lot to it. And I've noticed a lot more people around playing. Uh, not so much today. It's pretty pretty empty on the streets out here. It's a, one, it's a nice Sunday morning. Yeah. Not too hot. It's Sunday morning stroll. So, yeah, let's take a walk down. There is this gym up ahead that's a red gym, so we could probably knock that out. Put some Pokemon in there, one of us. Nice. There's only four Pokemon in it. Oh wait, maybe you two can battle at the same time. Yeah, maybe. Cause That'd be fun to see. Yeah, because we're on different teams, so we could see if we can battle it at the same time, too. Yeah, and um, when I was at the bottom of the park, um, I was battling a gym, and I saw another Pokemon with me. Oh, nice. Yeah, so... No, actually, no. Like, no, it's multiplayer. Other... 
Yeah. Like four other groups me and I'm just like, whoa, that was awesome. awesome. And then we just defeated the muck. <laughs> it was it a muck? Yeah, it was really strong. Wow. It was over 2,500. Really? Yeah. That's incredible, bud. So uh, we'll get to the news though. Talking yeah. Jolt uh, doing our weekly game news game cast. Like I said, we talk about the game news every week while we play a game. So this is what we're playing today. Even though you can't see AC Gamer, he's also playing. Uh, he's going to be checking the gyms and stops. But what do we got on the news first? Uh, first we got some PlayStation news. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn just came out with a new update. Uh, the uh, new game plus. Oh, that's out. right. There's a new difficulty. Um, pull that up really, really quick. Yeah, they added a new game plus mode into Horizon Zero Dawn, so Ultra you can ultra hard. Yeah, you can start. Uh, you can start a fresh game with all your upgrades and equipment that you've that you've had so far, right? Yep, but those won't help you much because the beasts are extra feisty. Nice. I might have to jump back into that game and try it again with a new game plus mode. And. Um, so yeah, you can have all the upgrades you want, but uh, you're gonna have to have, <laughs> have a little skill if you're gonna take down some robot dinosaurs. Yeah. They also added face paint, so now uh, Aloy can break out her makeup kit and oh, put a fun. makeup on her face. That's that's gender appropriate, I guess. Sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think this uh, it, it could be all in preparation for the DLC that's coming out later this year. That's right. Yeah, they've got the. Frozen North? What, what is it called? Frozen North? Uh, Frozen something. Yeah, I think <laughs> it takes it's place somewhere cold. It looks frozen like. Waste. I, I'm thinking it's going to be Yellowstone from the way it looked in the screenshots. It looks like there's some Yellowstone-like features to the, the Banuk area is yeah. what it was. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that'll be exciting to see. I'm, I'm uh, curious about how that's going to go. Um, moving on on PlayStation, we got the uh, they've been out for a week or two now, but the new PS Plus free titles. Oh, that's right. Yeah, um, I played uh, Game of Thrones is one of them. The Telltale Game of Thrones. Yes, Telltale Game of Thrones. Telltale Games Game of Thrones. Telltale oh. Games Game. Telltale the Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, just in time for the new season of Game of Thrones, I guess. Yeah. It and coincides then, uh, nicely. And Tell Dawn as well. Yeah, which I still haven't gotten to in the playthroughs, but uh, that one looks like it's got a really good cast. Yeah, it's um, sort of a uh, a little similar to like the Telltale style games. It's sort of an interactive horror movie. Yeah, it's, maybe a little more like uh, Life is Strange than, than a Telltale game. Yeah, it's it's sort of a choose your own adventure thing. People describe <laughs> it as kind of like Cabin in the Woods the game. Oh, nice. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so they added a bunch of P uh, PlayStation 4 titles to that streaming service. Nice. So, for a, a monthly fee, I believe it's around 20 bucks. Cheap 99? Yep. Uh, you can uh, play a bunch of PlayStation 4 titles, 20 to be exact. Wow. I won't go through the whole list, but I think the biggest ones are uh, Killzone Shadowfall, God of War 3 Remastered, Saints Row 4, um, Darksiders 2. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 and Ooh, nice. many, many others. Should be fun. Yep. So, yeah, PlayStation Now is streaming. Uh, so you don't download the titles, you just stream them. So yeah. you got to have a pretty decent internet connection in order to play. Streaming on demand. Mm -hmm. We got mm -hmm. two raids nearby. One is a Magmar. Old butt face Magmar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, it's only going for another 20 minutes. We could probably get there in time, though. Uh, but yeah, let's mosey on. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Had to mute for a minute for the motorcycles. <laughs> they were driving by. Something fierce. Okay, um, moving on to good old Nintendo news. Oh. An Amber just disappeared on me. Darn, man. <laughs> Uh, a little Super Nintendo Classic Edition news. Oh yeah. So eBay, I guess is gonna have a a new rule that um, for uh, you know scalpers. Uh, the big uh, controversy with the NES Classic version was they were going for 
hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yeah. People bought them up quick and then sold them for okay. more. Yep. So eBay's gonna try and help them to, you know, not make that happen. Let me see what the exact rule is here. Um, under this new policy, the company will remove listings for pre-release items and accessories if the release date of the item is more than 30 days away. Wow. So no more of those ridiculous pre-orders on eBay, even when the the company is no longer, or, or when the company hasn't even released the item yet. So. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, there's a gym right here. Let's say I do a gym battle while we talk about more game news. Sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. What's good against the Dragonite, bud? Um. Dragon type attacks? More dragons, yep. I, uh... My Lapras has a dragon attack. I think fairies are also good against dragon, aren't they? That sounds right. Oh yeah, it is. So is you it? should also use your bracelet. I think that's the reason I made fairy type is because dragons were too strong. Dragons are too strong. I need my Vaporeon. I need a fighter. Oh. I need a firefighter for that Blissey at the end. My Machamp is pretty fast these days. Daniel Hipley, welcome to it. Back on survival mode. Nice. Good work. All right, let's do this battle. What else is going on in Nintendo news? Is that where we're at? Yes. Okay. Kingdom Hearts 3 on Switch. Yeah. Question mark. Uh, they talked about it. Uh, yeah, the director says that uh, they may possibly release Kingdom Hearts 3 for the Switch once the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions come out. Finally. Um, sometime in 2018. They don't have an exact release date, just 2018. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts 3, they released a new trailer yesterday from the Disney Expo. Oh, nice. So apparently they're going to have Toy Story World in the game. Ooh, that was... I, I thought Toy Story was already in Kingdom Hearts. Nope. Okay. okay. But yeah, no, it's, uh, I think it's new to this release, and now you can go fight monsters with Woody and Buzz. Nice. That should be interesting to see how those guys play in those games. Okay, and then moving on next. Uh, the new Nintendo 3DS production is ending worldwide. Oh, no. Yep, so uh, the previous version of the new Nintendo 3DS <laughs> is, uh, is over. Mind you, they, they recently announced the new Nintendo 2DS. Oh, really? Yeah, they got all kinds of models for the 3DS. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many handhelds, <laughs> handhelds do you need, really? Well, they're all kind of just a different version of the same thing. Yeah. Um, so they released the new 3DS a couple years ago, which is... Has a, a few more new features that the previous 3DS didn't. Like a um, there's another analog stick on it, as well as um, I guess like a, a bigger processor. So there are a few games that you can only play with the new Nintendo 3DS. Oh, okay. So they're shutting production down for that. But they recently announced the new 2DS, which is basically the same thing except without the 3D uh, features. Okay. So. You know, it's a little cheaper. It doesn't have the three D head tracking technology. Yeah, three D just wasn't catching on, I guess. Guess not. But uh, it's still some pretty good games. So if you still want to go play some of those three D S games, get yourself a two D S. There we go. Uh, okay, moving on to mobile gaming news. We talked about a lot of the Pokemon Go stuff, I think. Um, let's see, we got some quality events. Yeah, they were talking about introducing Safari events into the game too, where you'd be able to catch uh, some of the region-specific Pokemon during spurt, uh, certain events if you're not in the region. Oh. Like the far-fetched in the uh, Kenya's con for us. Ah, cool. You can't get in North America. So that'd be great, because um, I'm looking... I don't want to have to go to Japan for a far but so I will. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Europe, and that's mine. That's right. I'll do it. But yeah, so Safari events, those will be popping up. They're doing a lot with this... Uh, Pokemon Go Fest, it's uh, happening in Chicago next weekend on Saturday, July 22nd, I think that's next Saturday. They're, yeah, that Pokemon Go Fest is happening in Chicago. There's talk of a mystery event that's going to be happening. A lot of people think it's going to be the introduction of a first legendary in a gym. Mm. So, it should be interesting. If I don't beat this Blissey, I'm going to be mad. Blissey's are the worst in gyms. <laughs> that's why I always leave my Blissey in a gym. Get off of me. If I beat him, though, it's all the Pokemon that were here cleared out. 30 seconds? I can do this. Get out of here, Blissey. Mm -hmm. Got him. Get out of here, Blissey. Yeah. And so they'll get weaker each time you defeat them. Uh, you'll see the CP drops. 
so next time I fight them, they're weaker, which makes it easier to do. Nice. So there they are, and I've knocked them all down. And then when you bat, well, no, actually, first I'm gonna pop out here. Heal. Yeah, I'm gonna heal them up. You can heal inside that screen, but it doesn't let you, it, I found that it's kind of glitchy, like you'll heal, you'll switch your team out, heal them up, and then it'll put it back to the original default team it gave you when you first went in there, which I don't like. Uh, it's been glitching like that, so I'm gonna go in with everybody healed like I need them to be. So what's the mystery challenge? Is uh, a mystery? Yeah, do you have that article up? I don't, I don't quite remember what was going on with it. <laughs> yeah, so Saturday, July 22nd is the Pokemon Go event in Grant Park in Chicago. There you go. Uh, basically, there will be three challenge windows where Pokemon Go players all over the world will try to catch as many Pokemon as possible. Uh, so yeah, these windows are throughout the day, 11 a.m. to 11.30, so it sounds like you got a half an hour to catch as many Pokemon as you can. Yeah. Um, those at Grand Park will rack up bonus modifiers, so if you're there, then you'll be able to get more points. Nice. Um, oh, there's a Sneasel out. There are different tiers, so upon or hitting... Is that a Sneasel? Yeah. Upon hitting the gold tier, a mystery challenge will begin to appear in Grant Park, which will take place between 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, now Antic is keeping this mystery challenge under wraps. Yeah. So the people are suspecting we'll be able to catch a legendary Pokemon. Yep, and that's the word. In a special raid. Shall we mosey some more? I don't uh, want to. I don't want to grind out this gym just now. Okay. Um, and then last bit of Pokemon Go news: there is a Pokemon Go blogger who was arrested and put on the yeah. terrorist watch list. Yeah, we talked about this guy a while ago on Jolt. He was blogging in a Russian church, I believe, and got sent to jail there, and now he's a, he's a terrorist on a watch list because of all that, the poor guy. So, careful where you play. They put those warnings in the game for a reason. Don't trespass. Don't do it where you're not supposed to do it. Ah. Pokemon's not for everybody, I guess. Poor guy. Some people don't care for it. <laughs> Especially Russians. Yep. So, yeah. Stinks for him. As his Pokemon playing changed his life. But we're just out in the downtown street. We should be fine. I think we'll be fine. Hopefully not. <laughs> we'll, avoid our, we'll do our best for getting on the terrace off this. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, moving on to general gaming news. General news. First off, Doomfist. Oh, that's right. Not Terry Crews, though. Not Terry Crews, some other dude, but uh, the long rumored Doomfist. He has arrived at o in Overwatch. Um, He's, he's playable he's, now? Yeah, and he's kind of an infamous character in the Overwatch universe. He's kind of the long winded big bad villain. Mm. And uh, he's here now. He's got a, a giant ass fist <laughs> for, for, you know, doing just that. You know, punching. Punching him. stuff? Yep. So, he's a punchy type. He's yeah. a fighting type Pokemon. Basically, yeah. People <laughs> describe him as like, he, he can do pretty cool combos with his, his punch. Like, you oh, can nice. uppercut people punch him in midair. <laughs> so he's got a little bit of a fighting mechanics. Um, I think he's still on the PTR, but he'll be coming to the regular game pretty soon here, so I can't wait to play him. Okay, nice. Yeah, Doomfist, they've been talking about him for ages. Yep. Um, there, speaking of Overwatch, there's a new Overwatch punishment system. Oh. Uh, I guess this is for... The cheaters? The cheaters. And for just bullies in the game, I think. Yeah. Uh, there's been a lot of complaints of toxicity. Uh, <laughs> you don't say. In the Overwatch community. Do you find that there's a lot of toxicity? Uh, I usually, when I play, I usually keep my voice chat off. Oh, okay. And mute other players, so. Yeah. I don't want to deal with, you know, 13 year olds calling me racial slurs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't need that. Uh, nobody's got time for that. Nobody's got time for that. Um. So yeah, the uh, punishment system, let's see, I think they, they haven't announced what it is specifically, but they just say that they're working on it. Okay. But they are doing something about it, so that's good, right? Yep. I'll wait till we cross the street. Let's see, let's see. Some other news. Uh, Cyberpunk 2000. 77 has an unconventional class, like journalist and executive and more. Yeah, that game's looking wild. Yeah, from the makers of the uh, very well-received Witcher 3 
um, Cyberpunk 2007 by CD Projekt Reds. Uh, it'll have several different classes that you can be. And so I guess you can be Donald Trump in the game if you're an executive. <laughs> or you could be yeah. like Bob Woodward, a journalist. Stuff like that. So that's interesting. I wonder what kind of class abilities come with those. If you're the executive, do you fight with money? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You fight by buying everybody out? Instead of battling, you just yeah, you just give the enemy some money to leave you alone. <laughs> if you're a journalist, you just write a smear story about them. Yep. Yeah, that one should be pretty interesting. Yeah, a lot of hype for that one, so I can't wait for that one to come out. They, uh, they're a very well-detailed game, so don't expect it to come out soon. Yeah. The, uh, the Witcher 3 had so much, so many layers, it's, it was overwhelming for me, to be huh. honest. I still haven't tried that Witcher series. You would like, you would dig it. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about it. Let's see. Mass Effect is dropping uh, De Nuvo, the uh, anti-cheating tech. That's uh, right. Not, uh, not a whole information on why, but... Yeah, they just, uh, their latest version, uh, the patch came out and it's just not listed anymore as being part of the game, so... Whatever that, whatever happened there. Uh, yeah, they don't say much about it, but yeah, I think there's a lot of. Uh, I think a lot of developers are dropping, you know, those anti-cheating software, and I, I think in favor of just kind of their own system. It sounds like. Yeah, just punish the uh, the people that are hacking stuff. Pretty much. Make them pay. Um, Dead by Daylight. We'll be adding. Halloween, Michael Myers. Oh yeah. For PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, he's been on the game on PC uh, for the past year, but now he's coming to the consoles. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, kind of to compete with, uh, what is it, the Friday the 13th game with Jason, right? Yep, pretty so much. So now these guys are getting other horror characters in their game. Yeah, kind of the same premise here. You're a uh, slasher. Yeah, better stop them. Nice. Uh, Scout, welcome to the chat. Thanks for joining. No worries, man. Appreciate you being here. All right, what else we got here? I want to get this Magmar at this raid. So when we do this raid, you're going to have to uh, switch over to your Pokemon. Oh, wait, we got to go this way. <laughs> Yeah, you'll have to switch over to your Pokemon. But we got a raid right here for a Magmar. There's five minutes left. So if you hit this gym and spin the stop at it, it should give you a raid pass. Oh, cool. And then you'll be able to do the raid with that pass. And if the two of us are in there at the same time, we might stand a chance if you've got some water types. All right, I'll pull up my Pokemon Go. But let's see. Next news item. A new study claims that video games are to blame for men working fewer hours. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it for a minute. Yeah, I saw this study, but yeah, they're saying that uh, guys are taking more time off of work to stay home and play video games, which no, actually I do believe it. It's not a very in-depth study. It's not very detailed. It's not super scientific as far as studies go, but um, I don't know, it's out there. Think, it's out there. I think men will take work off for any reason yeah pretty much to not work and do what they want to do i think so so there's four minutes left are you loaded up uh, i'm loading up right now loading up so we're going to do this battle it's a magmar its cp is twelve thousand seven hundred and eighteen. hopefully with the two of us we can do it i've done some single player raids on level ones but that was like five thousand cp pokemon so it wasn't very hard but let me know once you're at the there it is Hit that stop first, too, just to get some items. Because we'll be battling for a minute. Okay. Nice. Congrats on winning against Pimpin. Thank you very much, Scout. That was a good match last night. We'll talk about that, too, in a minute. 12,000 CP. You're in there. So spin the stop so you'll get a raid pass. Where do I spin it? Oh, uh, the little... Yeah, there you go. Spin that. It'll give you a badge and a raid pass, actually. It should. Did it say if you got? I don't see if it lets you battle. 
it's not popping up the battle. So there you go. And you have a raid pass. Okay, so use that. AC Gamer's just getting into the raid and then click battle again, yeah. And it should pop you in with me. There we go. Is that me? Yeah, that's me. Let me just pick my pokes. Oh yeah, I better choose mine too. So ground types and water types is what we're gonna want mostly. Ground types and water types. It usually picks, picks you a pretty good team, but you might want to switch out some things. Yeah, yeah. Golem. Vaporeon right on Golem. So we got 66 seconds left before the raid will start. And then after we, if we defeat this Magmar, we'll have a chance to catch it too. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Everybody who participates in the raid gets a chance to catch the Pokemon if you beat the Pokemon. It gives you a certain amount of premium balls or prestige balls or something. And you can use those, and if you run out, then you run out. But it's like catching other Pokemon, where it'll pop out. You have to try and throw really well. 30 seconds, though. Yep, I'm ready to go. Let's see. I wonder if there's anything better that I've got. Probably not. No, I don't. I like my Pokemon. I just need to play more so I can get better CT Pokemon. Yeah, you should probably Oops. Gotta catch him. Oh, here we go. Okay. And try to dodge his big attack, especially because it'll wail you. It'll wail on you. Gotcha. There he is, big old Magmar. He doesn't see it yet. So yeah, it gives you 160 something seconds. Emma, welcome to the chat. Thanks for joining. So yeah, it gives you a set amount of time to do it. Oh no, he, oh, I didn't dodge his big attack. Oh, I did, I did. Oh, sorry, Emma, Nightbot will get you if you use too many emojis. <laughs> He's not doing much damage to my Vaporeon though, that's nice. Vaporeon's great. Yeah, and you can go through all six of your Pokemon too. So, oh, I see you. I saw you over there. It's fun. And that, yeah, it shows the other people's uh, Pokemon while you're in there. That's two bones. My Vaporeon's doing some good damage to him though. We just have to... <laughs> I got two left, man. It's okay. Can't I think it, I, well, that, we'll be able to find out if it counts for you if I, if I beat him even after your Pokemon are defeated. That'll be good. Oh, he's using his right on. Nice. Right on. Wow, if I, if I fight him off with this whole, all the way with, oh no, he hit me. I almost had him with Vaporeon, but he hit me. Do you see me jumping by on your screen right now? I'm down, I'm done. Uh, he got my Vaporeon, but he's almost dead. 70 seconds and I got my ride on now. Super yeah. effective ride on. Go, go, go. Oh, you guys might be able to attack him. Did it show me leaping by you when I was dodging just now? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Kind of, kind of I got him. I got him. Yay. There we go, level two raid boss defeated. Nice work. I got an error. Oh no. It's not gonna let you catch him. Is it because you got defeated? Maybe, yeah. Oh, I think you don't get to catch him because you got defeated. That sucks. Ooh, it will be 3,000 CP when you catch him. So I get five for defeating the boss, plus three for damage. So I've got 11 prestige balls. Oh, plus three also for the contribution by the yellow team. So now we go to bonus challenge. Catch Magma. And you can use your berries. So I'm gonna use a raspberry. And then I'm going to try for the excellent throws. Oh, he jumped it! Oh, that was still a small circle. I want a big, hefty Magmar. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought I had him on the first throw. <laughs> that would have been great. Great throw with a raspberry. I think you might get him. 
That's too bad that it doesn't let you even have a chance. You were well, part of it. I don't know if that was it or because mm. it, it gave me a network error. Oh, maybe that was it. Well, there's been errors since they've updated the system where it, it'll just say error. They don't tell you what the actual problem was like that. I've had that with different stuff in gyms. So it wouldn't surprise me if it was just a glitch. Yeah, to close the game out. And... Or they don't have a proper error screen. Anyway, I got the Magmar though. Nice. I got the Magmar. He's a 1248 CP. Let's give him an appraisal. Really strong. So he's not the best. Oh, HP. But he's pretty strong. HP. He's got Ember and Fire Punch. Scout says woo. Ron 10, welcome to the chat. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I didn't want to rename him. There we go. He wasn't healthy though. So there we have it. That's a level two raid completed and caught the Magmar. Shall we head back that way and finish up our game news? Sure. And also see if we can get the wheelbarrow kit. Yeah. But that's a long way back. Yep, we gotta walk in front of us. That's for sure. Oh, and how are my eggs? I need to check my eggs. I'm not sure. I got so. Did you put it in an incubator? I put a five kilometer, or no, a two kilometer egg. Ah, nice. Also, you might get an ash half to eat you. Maybe. So heck yeah, welcome to the new viewers that have rolled along. Thanks for joining us. That was a raid battle in Pokemon. Hello, Max Soy Y. Uh, appreciate you guys being along. We're doing Jolt right now. That's our weekly game news game cast where AC Gamer and I talk about the game news while we play a game. We figured we'd do a nice little Poke Walk for Jolt this week. Show you guys some of the new features of uh, the gym battle upgrades in recent weeks. Mm -hmm. And everything. So there you go. Uh, what else we got? Where did we get in the news? Uh, we were talking about that study. Yes. What do the people in the chat think? Do you type work off to, <laughs> do you slack off to play more video games? Yeah, let us know in the chat, in the comments, if you're watching from the future. How much time, uh, how much time per week or month do you think you take off of work just to play video games? <laughs> uh, That's I, a good question. I don't, re I don't really. Uh, I've done it when, uh, I've, I've taken off work to come home and stream when some games have released. Like I took off. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I took Tuesday off of work so that I could play those three DLCs that dropped, the Final Fantasy and the Diablo and, oh, Steep. Steep had an expansion that came out. So I took off a day of work to play those. So I've done it. Yeah. It looks like this raid up at this Poke Gym is uh, no longer going. So we won't be able to do that one. But maybe there's some back up the street. We'll head back over there. Uh, can you tell me, good sir, what is, uh, what is Waking Titan? Ah, the Waking Titan. That is the uh, No Man's Sky... Um, it's the No Man's Sky ARG. It's the ARG that may be related to No Man's Sky. It pretty much is for sure at this point. Um, but it's finished up its first phase in the last couple weeks. This is about a week ago, actually. They put out the last update for that, for this phase. And... Uh, made an announcement talking about uh, Atlas V4 passes and, and urging people to sign up on this website to be part of their citizen science brigade to get an Atlas V4 pass. And in the game, there's up to V3, oh. of course. So, yeah, it's kind of the last part of that phase. And then phase two and three are supposedly going to be happening uh, before the update comes out, which at best guess at this point is going to be around the anniversary of the game's release, which is August 9th for PlayStation and 12th for PC, I think. So, oh yeah, Scout's pumped about Waking Titan. Nice. <clears throat> so, um, uh-oh, hold on. All right, sorry about that. We had some traffic going by, some loud noises. But uh, <laughs> thanks for sticking in. Maxoy, yes, I see you. Hello, Pokemon Go, it's great. Do you like it? What do you like about Pokemon Go, Maxoy? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Waking Titan stuff, that's the latest for uh, No Man's Sky. I personally am excited for the update, but... The Waking Titan stuff hasn't really been my uh, bread and butter, my cup of tea. My cup of tea, that's what I'm looking for. It hasn't been my cup of tea. So, you know, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what this update holds. It's gonna be 1.3. There was a memo released as part of the Waking Titan stuff, uh, signed by initials SM, which we can all assume is Sean Murray, uh, saying that he looks forward to showing us what happens in, uh, what did they call it, version 1.0, or step, stage 1.3 of something, 
and something about early August. So that's the best they've given us for an, a release date at this point is version 1.3 in early August. But a lot of people were thinking it was going to be like version 2.0. A completely brand new game but if they're doing 1.3 i don't think that's going to be the case mm. i think we'll see new features i think we'll see new storyline and lore more portals um, yeah. portals opening a lot of portal hype but uh i don't know I, I i still believe in my heart that portals have always worked in that game and that nobody's solved it yet and that's the only problem so i don't know we'll find out we'll find out uh Moving on from New Man's Sky. Yes. Destiny 2 news. Ah, yes. Yes, the open beta begins later this week. Um, and uh, preloading's begun. If you are a PS4 person, uh, that is to say a PS4 with legs and arms that walks around, a PS4 person. Yes, yes a person that is a PS4. Mm -hmm. uh, you can download the beta. Um, well, no, actually it starts for you on Tuesday. Oh, nice. Yep. Uh, Xbox starts the next day. And then on Friday, July 21st, uh, the beta goes open for everybody. Wow. So, and I think it's just for that weekend. That's quick. Yep. That's soon. Destiny 2. I know some people are hyped about that one. I, are you going to play that one? Uh, I'll try out the beta. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably give the beta a try, too. We'll download I that should. Um, on Friday. Nice. Excellent. Let's uh, cross the street again over here. Okay. And what else in general gaming news? Uh, GTA's got a new mode. Oh yeah. They've released yet another mode for GTA Online. What was that one? Uh, let's see. Premium Race and Time Trial. Premium Race and Time Trial. Nice. More so, racing. So yeah, we got a race called The Big Drop. <laughs> a time trial, trial called Up Chiliad, so... Oh. Up Chiliad. Yep, so it doesn't sound too too nutty, but they're yeah. doing uh, big uh, money payouts and triple RP for uh, playing that mode on um, July 11th to July 17th. Nice. So get your booty over on GTA for all that stuff. That's right. Man, they just keep putting out content for that game, though. It just never ends. It's the game that never ends. I think they will until Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out. Yeah. You think they'll do online mode for that? Probably. I mean, GTA has been a pretty big success yeah. online. So. A lot of people don't want uh, online mode in Red Dead because it was such a big single player game the first time around. Hmm. They don't want that ruined. Well, why can't you have both? Um, yeah, that's a good question. GTA, I don't see. GTA 5 has both. Yeah, it had a great single player campaign. It was awesome. Um, a bit of a interesting uh, in the in the big wide world of jigsaw puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles? You mean the tabletop games? Yeah. Oh, somebody came by and healed up this gym and put in a Tyranitar. You believe that, Happy Crappy? I'm not gonna battle it. And an Arcanine. It. And an Arcanine. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> battle it. I wanna battle. Oh, Gazoon type. No, no, it's no. It'll take too long, and we won't be able to clear them all out. I think. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that. Slight interruption. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying, AC Gamer? Uh, so GameSpot has a, a special uh, Super Mario Jigsaw puzzle. Nice. Hard to describe, but you'll have to click on the link to see what this puzzle's all about. Yeah. It's... <laughs> People saying it's as hard as Dark Souls. Yep, it's the Dark Souls of <laughs> Jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> you'll um, never fit all those pieces together. Yeah, no, it's just a... This is a picture of <coughs> Mario, uh, you know, just doing his Mario thing. Yeah. But most of the puzzle is just blank red, oh. empty space. <laughs> with like no, like... No hints? Yeah, there's like no... No visual hints? There's no visual picture or hints. Huh. So people are saying that's pretty silly. Yeah. Um, yeah, click the link to check that out. Yeah, of course, we got links in the descriptions to uh, all the stuff we're talking about today here on Jolt. So you can always find more info there if you're interested. Don't forget. Okay, so moving on. 
Half-Life game that is <laughs> more than 20 years old, the original Half-Life. Yeah. Uh, received the patch from Valve. <laughs> Still working on Half-Life, the yep. original Half-Life. It's not perfect. <laughs> But yeah, what they they patched some of the uh, long-time complaints from the community about the game, about this little stu weird stuff that can glitch out on you. Yep, minor fixes. So um, good job to those guys for still <laughs> updating their game. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, so they, they didn't have anything big, just fixing glitches and all that stuff. But yeah, they still care about Half-Life, apparently. Everybody cares about Half-Life. When's that third one coming out? Okay. <laughs> Soon, right? Soon, maybe next week. <laughs> could be next week, could be never. I bet you if that ever does come out, if they're, gonna, if they're just gonna drop it without any proper circumstance. Yeah, just release it and say, there it is. Don't, don't, don't at me. <laughs> oh man, should be interesting. Yep. And then uh, lastly on our game news, general gaming news, Final Fantasy 15. Ooh. Uh, the July update is going to feature the long-awaited Magitech Exo suits. Yeah, yeah, the Power Ranger armor. Yep. <laughs> they had to. This was going to come out a while ago, right? But they delayed it because it looked too much like the, the new Power Rangers movie stuff. Yeah, they looked pretty close to the new suits from the movie. Yeah. So they've revamped them a little bit, and now they're being released uh, for Final Fantasy 15. Should be cool. Yep. They still look pretty Power Rangery. Yeah. But yeah. But now the movie's not so fresh, so I guess it's okay. Michael Golden Fisherman, welcome to the chat. Thanks for joining. Scout the Invincible Nightmare says, never, never what? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, just a few trailers and announcements. Uh, Wolfstein, Wolfenstein 2. Yeah, Wolfenstein 2 coming out. The new Colossus has a uh, new trailer. Looking super brutal and first-person shootery as ever. Yep. Uh, battling alien-looking Nazi robots or something. I don't know. Yeah. That game's looking wild pretty, from this trailer. Pretty nutty. And then uh, got an inside look at the new Spider-Man PS4 game. Oh, hold on. Say that again in a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a new inside look trailer of the new Spider-Man. Yes. Uh, for PlayStation 4. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to it. They talk a lot in that uh, first look about all the heart they've put into the game and how they're trying to tell a new Spider-Man story. But I guess he's going to be a little bit older. He's going to be like 23. Uh, he's been Spider-Man for about eight years. Um, so this is a so he's yeah, he's a little bit veteran. Sp Boondock, Spider welcome to the chat. He's been around the block. Yeah, and he's uh, he's got to stay on his toes because his enemies are learning how he moves and what he does. So he's got to always change it up, hmm. do new stuff. So yeah, that's, but the Spider-Man games are always good. I've always loved them. They've always been a fun time. I like how it's a veteran Spider-Man, but I'm still older older than that Spider-Man. You're still older than veteran Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. Ain't none of us ever going to be a web-slinging teenager again. Dang. That's for sure. <laughs> hey, Cyrave AJ, welcome to it. The day Half-Life 3 comes out, I'd be dead, says Scout. Oh, is that what you were saying never about, Scout? I get it. Yeah. I get it now. <laughs> Boondock, sorry, I missed most of your message. Was it about the match last night? It scrolls pretty fast when you're on uh, mobile. I'm trying to keep up, though. But yeah, that does it for our trailers and announcements. What else we got? The upcoming releases? That is right. That's exactly right. Cool. I'll just go through these really quickly. Okay. PlayStation 4 coming out July 18th. Orcs Must Die Unchained. Orcs Must Die. Fallen Legion, Sins of an Empire. Oh my. Yonder, The Cloud Catcher Chronicles. Yonder. And yeah, those are the only ones for July 18th. Hmm. Xbox One we got July 19th. Moon Hunters. Uh, what Moon Hunters. What remains of Edith, Edith Finch? Nice. And uh, July 20th, a gigantic. Ooh. J July 21st, Conga Master. Conga Master, just Con to be clear. Conga Master. <laughs> not, not Condom Master? Nope. Because <laughs> it sort of sounded like you said. <laughs> oh, yeah, Conga Master. Is that a dance game, I take it? Uh, probably. What? Yes, Conga Master is a rhythm game. Yeah, rhythm games. Yep. I haven't played one of those in ages. I used to tear it up on Dance Dance Revolution in the arcades, though. <laughs> tear it up. Let's see what else we've got here for Nintendo Switch. Minecraft Story Mode coming out July 18th. Oh, nice. And the long-awaited Splatoon 2 coming out July 21st. Excellent. 
Splatoon 2. Yeah, I saw, I've seen some gameplay of Splatoon 1. That one looks pretty, uh, pretty wild. Fun for the kids. Oh yeah. Let's like see. an alternative to Overwatch for children. <laughs> the bells from the church. It's okay. Sunday. Um, let me run down a quick list of PC titles coming out. Okay. We've got Age of Civilizations 2, Fantasy Mosaic 17, New Palette, German Fortress 3D, Nurbit, Tank Battle Mania, Hootshot VR, <laughs> Bounced, Vault of Honor, The Awkward Steve Duology, <laughs> Celestial Creator, The Overdreamer, Celestial Creator, we got Mace, Tower Defense, The Triton Initiative, Elf World, Three Kingdoms, Square Box, Old Maid Girl, The Initial, Prisoner, Break the Food Chain, Akin Volume 2. This is still July 17th, by the way. <laughs> Children of the Zordiarchs, Yonder, The Cloud Catch Chronicles, Mystic Melee, Kingsway, Aftergrinders, Kingdoms of Castles, Parkbound, Space Hero Line, Project Mallow, Mad Muzzles, DS Squad War, Stop Time Drive, Lunaform, <laughs> Lots of PC games then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you can go Tons check, of PC games. You can click the link and go check out the full list. Yeah, we, we pull those uh, upcoming games off of Metacritic, so they're easy to find. But lots of PC games always coming out. But there's a look. Uh, real quick, Boondock, I'm streaming this off of my phone through the YouTube gaming app. You can do it on an Android, but not on an iPhone. Ooh, I'm hatching an egg. Hatching a two-kilometer. What is it? It's a, it's a Klefa. Isn't that what that is? Yeah, Klefa. Nice. You can evolve it. I don't want to right now. But yeah, there's a look at your upcoming games. I'll start another incubator in my infinite incubator. Another two kilometer, I mean. Okay. And there's a magneton. Magnemite. Magnemite. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. No I'm sorry, knows. son. He does not. Oh. I always forget the names. Yes, he does not know Pokemon that well. I don't know Pokemon that well, according to sledding and snowboarder. That's too bad. Yeah, which one's your favorite Pokemon? From Iola? From anything. Um, probably Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza. Yeah? What do you like about Rayquaza? It can fly even though it doesn't have wings. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It's a dragon and flying. Will you stop and tie your shoe really quick? Yes. And we'll say goodbye. Yeah, no problem, Boondock. Oh, we still gotta say, what oh, have yeah. you been playing, Gaming Mike? Oh, what have I been playing? I've been playing some Pokemon Go. I'm getting up there. I'm, I'm only a level 28 trainer, but uh, I mean, I only play it a little bit every day. I play it for, I play it on my way into work. There's a couple gyms I try to take over and stops that I stop at on my way to work. And then that's about it, really, unless I do a Pokewalk. Psyrave Cy AJ's enter entertainment's favorite Pokemon is a side deck. What's your favorite Pokemon? Let us know in the chat in the comments, but you, AC Gamer, what's your favorite? Hmm, a tough one. I like, I like Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd? That's pretty good. Are you going to go to Japan to catch one? I sure am. <laughs> Wait, no one has said Blissey. No one said Blissey. Uh, my favorite's probably an Alakazam. Ooh. I really like the Alakazam. I'm actually working on this uh, Kadabra as my buddy right now because he's got good attack and health. I've learned a lot about how the stats work and the way you can appraise your Pokemon in this game. You, uh... You get them appraised, and based on what the trainer tells you about your Pokemon, that tells you how strong it is, and there's a maximum stat level. So now I know the keywords for what he says that tells me what the maximum stat level is, and if my Pokemon is the maximum stat level or not. So I've been trying to save my good ones, and I'm marking them in their names. I've got them all renamed, whether they're good in attack, or health, or defense. Nice. So I've got A's and D's and H's in front of all of these. And sometimes they're good in all three. That's what you really want is a max stat, good in all three stats. That's the best Pokemon. I just learned that this, I just learned that this last week. What is it? Do you have one of those all three? No, I, don't ha I, I have a Kingler that's all three, but he's not max. He's the level below max. What is the keyword for? For Yellow Team, he says the best. It's the best he's ever seen, but it's different. Each trainer for each team gives you different uh, dialogue. So you'd have to look up Red and Blue Team. I'm not sure what theirs are. Oh, okay. But you can find that online. People post about what the best is. You wish I was on Red Team? Boondock says Flareon's his favorite. Let's head over this way to this other stop. Um, and what else have I been playing since I got sidetracked from that? I've been playing a lot of No Man's Sky. Oh, no, I'll, t I'll talk about... No, yeah, what else did I play this week? Uh, Elder Scrolls Online. I've been doing the Morrowind DLC. I'm almost done with that. And then I'm going to hoping to move on to Uncharted 4 after the Morrowind thing. Nice. 
Um, but then, yeah, I've been playing No Man's Sky a lot, doing practice runs for the tournament, and we just finished the first round of the tournament. Let's see. Well, let me start at the beginning. The Gecknip Gang has been doing a um, No Man's Sky permadeath tournament, uh, where we take two guys, they each start a fresh permadeath save at the same time, and then they go head-to-head -head for points that we've, we've made up a point system. You get points for doing certain things as you go along in the game. The first one to die loses, or the one with the most points at the end of the match wins. And so we had four rounds this last week, um, and the last one was last night. That was me versus Pimpin, and I won because Pimpin died to a two-star bounty, which oh, was no. tragic. <laughs> um, but it was well played. It was a good match. I really liked it. And he lived a two-star bounty. Yeah, I survived through a two-star bounty. That's right, son. Uh, but it was very... It's... Oh, there goes a car. Hold on. A.O. Owen, welcome to it. New to the channel. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, the tournament's been fun. So the next round of matches is going to be next Thursday and Friday. It's going to be winner versus winner two different times to determine who goes to the finals. And then the finals will be next Saturday. And these are at various times of day. But you guys can check out the Gecknip Gang Discord for in, uh, information on all that stuff. There's a link in the description. That's the Gecknip Gang Discord server. We chat in there all the time when we're not streaming, and that's where we talk about these cage matches and announce when they're gonna be. Uh, there's also a Gecknip Gang channel on YouTube you can subscribe to to see those matches. There's a link in the description for that as well. Uh, so yeah, go check out those matches, see how they are. If you're a fan of No Man's Sky and wanna see some cross-platform multiplayer, go ahead and give those a looky-loo. Oh, my bag is full. Oh no. And, uh... But um, yeah, that's what I've been playing. What have you been playing, AC Gamer? Guess what? What? I finally beat Persona 5. You actually beat it? I beat it. <laughs> when did you start that? On release? When was that released? In March. In March. <laughs> You've been playing that game since March? How many hours do you think you put into Persona 5? Uh, gotta be at least 80, maybe. 80? Ooh, worth the money then. Uh, what do you, okay. Let's hear your final review thoughts on that game. Uh, it was great. I love that game. Yeah? Uh, if you're into, you know, the old school turn base, uh, RPG battles with a twist, yeah, different twists. Uh, then uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. It's got a Pokemon-style kind of weakness and oh, cool. capturing. You capture personas that are basically the Pokemon, and they have different types of moves that are, you know, strong against other types of personas. Yeah. Uh, the personas themselves are based off different mythological beings. So some of the high-level personas you can catch are Thor. Mm. <laughs> You can get Thor wow. and Odin. I didn't know that about the game. Yeah. Uh, Shiva, you can you can get her. So a little bit Final Fantasy too. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> nice. Um, and it's got a great story too. Uh, that it's a lot of story though. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. That, that game is basically fifty percent, if not sixty percent, story based. Wow. Um, but it's got you know. If you're, if you're kind of into the JRPG, sort of an anime type of fan, then that's a, it's a good game. Nice. So you were satisfied by it? I was thoroughly satisfied. Excellent. Uh, also, Congratulations on finally beating it. <laughs> yeah. It's a long game. Uh, I mean, I play games pretty slow anyways, mm. so, you know, I, I, I'm sure other people can beat it faster than I did. Yeah. Um, Casual play. Yeah. Also been playing some more Elite Dangerous. Nice. I put up my first episode of Space Patrol. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. My new my new series where I, I play the dashing uh, space bounty hunter, <laughs> straight out of Space Patrol Academy, where I fight. Yeah, you know, I, I try to find evil space pirate scum. Nice. And take them down. Excellent. So as, you're doing the streams as a as you're doing a series AC. of streams in in character. Yes. Nice. <laughs> well, I'll have to check that out. You guys, that's AC Gamer talking. Uh, link in the description to his channel as well. Be sure to get over there and subscribe. And check that out too. I, I'm gonna have to watch that today. Yep. I didn't know you had done that. I'll, uh, yeah, that, I just had one episode out now, but I'll, I'll be doing more probably. <laughs> That's great. Of the, awesome. Of the Space Patrol. Yeah, Boondock in the chat there plays uh, Elite Dangerous, I know, and a lot of other Gekinib game guys are playing that. Yeah. Um, and then I've also been playing uh, Shadow of Mordor. Oh, nice. I busted that out again to get hyped for Shadow of War. Yep. Which is coming out uh, in September, I think. You streaming Mordor? I haven't been streaming it. Okay. Um, Fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I also been playing a, a game called Rogue Legacy. Ooh. Um, 
So speaking of what, speaking of video games, not quite video game related, but sort of, I watched the uh, Castlevania Netflix series. Oh yeah, that's out now. How is it? It's really good. I need to check that out. It's uh, not for kids. It's not for kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah Castlevania is pretty grown up stuff. Yep. Yeah, I like other stuff. And so uh, I watched that. Yeah, it's definitely not like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> but I watched that, and it made me want to play Castlevania. And nice. unfortunately, there aren't any really Castlevania games out for PS4 right now. Like, I really wanted to play Symphony of the Night. Yeah. Um, but there's a game called Rogue Legacy, which is very Castlevania-like. It's, okay. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a, sort of a random dungeonizer. Huh. So what the story is you're a, a family of heroes that are trying to storm this castle. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, oh, Owen, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Your favorite um, Pokemon is Dragonite. Awesome. And um, each time you die, you, you you start a new character who is like the descendant of the person who just died. Oh, the next generation, yep. literally. And they all have different quirks, so that you can choose between different classes, um, like barbarians or mages or uh, shinobis. Ooh. But um, they all have like their different quirks, like some of them are colorblind. So huh? when you play a colorblind character, like the whole game is in black and white. Oh no. You can play ones that have dementia so like you get to, you see monsters that aren't there oh no actually and there's all kinds of other ones like a little you, bit like don't starve yeah you can be like a giant person or a small person and like huh. if you're a small person you can crawl through different secret passages like Gollum in lego dimensions that's right <laughs> so yeah, it's, so it's pretty fun oh nice yeah um maybe i'll start streaming that one because that that game's really fun yeah do it man and, uh, yeah, that's what I've been playing. Nice. Well, awesome. Well, let us know in the chat if you guys want to what you've been playing as well, or in the comments if you're watching from the future. But that pretty much wraps us up for Jolt, I believe. We usually end with what we're playing. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys found it informative as we talked about the game news this week. Sorry for the uh, interruption uh, earlier when the stream cut out. My phone froze up. So this one's going to be a two-parter. I think I'll edit it together into one, though. So if you're watching from the future, you may not have noticed the interruption. But if you missed any of that, you can check out the other, the first stream on my channel. It should be uh, available now. And uh, I don't know, we'll be back uh, either next week or the week after that. We've been kind of doing a two format, a two, every, every other week format instead of every week while it's been sort of slow news during the summer. But we, we're trying to just keep it uh, so that we have about an hour's worth to talk with, I think, or more. So this has been uh, the last two weeks since January 2nd that we've covered for your gaming news. And of course, if there's anything we missed or anything you think we should cover in the future, leave us a comment on any of these videos, on any of these Jolt videos. And you can see previous episodes in the Jolt playlist on my channel, I'm Gaming Mike. That's AC Gamer. Hi. And that's Sledding Snowboarder. I love Pokemon. He loves Pokemon. We've been playing Pokemon Go today while we walk around and talk about game news. Appreciate you guys joining us. I think that's about it. Any final thoughts? Video games are fun. Final thoughts? Fun. Fun. That seems to be the general message. So thanks for joining us. Come back next time, and we'll see you then. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.